Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to another WIS Technology tutorial. In today's lesson, I'm going to continue on this series of Google Classroom by exploring the Students tab. So within the Students tab, uh, you have a variety of options. Uh, first and foremost, you can control the amount of activity students can contribute uh, to the stream. So as you see here, this is currently set to students can post and comment to the stream. Now this means that they can create original posts or comment on existing posts. The other options you have are students can only comment, meaning that you as the instructor now sort of initiate the dialogue and then the students are able to uh, reply uh, in a sense by commenting on that comment or a comment commenting on the, the question or the discussion topic. And then, of course, the, the third and most restricted type is only the teacher can post or comment. And this reserves that uh, stream or news feed essentially just for you and your announcements. Um, so it's really up to you to decide how best to, to, to utilize that in your class. Um, I do think it's good practice to open that space up uh, to students to create sort of a, a back channel atmosphere in your classroom or to post notes or to just to sort of share daily activities uh, there. And if, if you need to enroll or if more students need to enroll in your course, the class code is also available on this page. One thing we always like to do is to send emails to the entire class. This is very easy to do within the classroom uh, environment. I can simply check the box here at the top under actions. I can choose email and this gives me a nice big compose window um, with all of the students um, populated in the BCC line of the email. And this is nice so if the student hits that reply all button rather than reply they don't risk uh, perhaps sending an embarrassing email to the entire class, so on and so forth. Um, so that's how you could email your entire class. You can also email individual students by clicking on the envelope. One thing you might have noticed when I clicked on that actions button uh, was this idea of muting. So if you have students who are not participating in a productive way in your class, you can actually uh, mute them for a period of time um, and then unmute them when they're ready to contribute in a positive way. So this is just one way to kind of sort of maintain uh, discipline in your blended learning environment. And then of course, uh, if a student happens to leave at some point during the year, you can remove them from your class. Um, it doesn't require the administrator to do that for you. So this is essentially the student tab. Um, you could also invite students uh, to join your class via email, but uh, I have a preference for just entering in the class code. That seems to work the fastest. So there you have it, another short tutorial on Google Classroom. I will be continuing this uh, with other aspects of Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Bye.